A shocking twist in the case of a former state trooper accused of causing a crash that killed two teen girls. The jurors couldn't agree on a verdict, so the judge declared a mistrial. Investigators say Anthony Scott was going 90 miles an hour without sirens or lights on when the crash happened on a Carroll County highway. Now 17 year old Kylie Lindsay and 16 year old Isabella Chinchilla were killed. 11 Alive's Edwin Lopez is taking us through what happened in court and now what's next because of this mistrial. Yeah, so Judge Simpson granted the mistrial and it was all over evidence the defense says prosecutors withheld. Based on the foregoing findings of fact and conclusions of law, the defendant's second motion for a mistrial is granted. While today was a final for today, it doesn't necessarily mean it's over. So if it's not over, what's next? The defense will fight this at every possible opportunity to prevent a retrial of this case. The defense asked the judge to declare a mistrial, saying there was evidence the prosecution didn't share with them. The state is ethically bound to provide all of the evidence that we call exculpatory. And what that means is, is it favorable to the defendant or may it be favorable to the defendant? Two troopers testified that one of the teens could have possibly been near the console or on someone's lap in the front seat. Which means the driver may not have turned left in front of the trooper, may not have made a difference. Trooper may have been going so fast, it would have never made a difference, but it could have made a difference. This is about defendants' fundamental constitutional rights. This behavior is inconsistent with our American legal heritage. The state, whether they choose to retry this or not, uh, we do intend on filing a plea in bar to prevent that. We think we have some grounds for that, but that's something that will have to be decided later. If there's a plea in bar filed by the defense and the Court of Appeals agrees with them, case is over. Or if the trial judge agrees, case is over, although the state can appeal that. All right, appeals. Let's talk about that. How long are we talking here? I mean, this could take years, and you know, as you can imagine, it's already been an incredibly long road to closure for the victims' families and also for everyone involved. All right, thank you, Ellen.